Today it's time for another Phil's unboxing video and today we are doing a maglev train supplied by Chris Mead during one of his last holidays to America. Sorry, working trips to America. The, uh, Chris gave me this and said I want to see you do something with it so uh, I could read the box but quite frankly I can't be bothered because it's exciting. It does show you what's in there which is really important obviously uh, but uh, nobody cares about that sort of thing. So let's have a look. We have some clear plastic bits, some strips that I assume are magnetic and I believe this is the rolling stock, mainly because it's got the um, it's it's got some stickers on the side. So it's got stickers. That's always a good thing. And some instructions and a bit more cardboard packing. Right now, the instructions um, have got pictures on. This is good. We like pictures and some words that we shall um, we shall not worry about too much. So I guess looking at the instructions, this is the track. Now as you can see, I would think, that looks pretty much like it's, um, it's fine scale track. It's probably P4 in maglev terms and uh, it's made of a sort of clear plastic stuff and it sort of links together. Now you only get two bits here which seems like a bit a bit short but obviously obviously they're, designed, they're all the same so if you bought more kits or somehow you could have a much much longer maglev track. And the next stage according to the instructions is to break into the uh, into the pack of uh, magnetic strips and there are two links I guess this one goes on the rolling stock and looking at the pictures these ones go onto the uh, track self adhesive stick that on there I'll tell you what this is a lot faster than um, than putting um, CNL kits together or something like that I think this might be the future of model railways. I mean, after all, it is a train. It says so on the outside of the box. Um, those, those who remember maglevs might well remember the, uh, the Birmingham Airport one, which is probably the only one most of us have ever ridden on, uh, which was a marvellous device and kept breaking down. But it was fantastic if you were on there, trundling between the station and Birmingham Airport. And uh, the only other one I know of in the country was the one at Crew Works, which was the prototype for the Birmingham Airport one, which none of us got to ride on because it was at Crew Works in the middle of the track. Right, there we are. Track made. I've got another packet here, which according to this is, um, these are, this is the rolling stock and the buffer stops as well. Now the buffer stops look like they clip into the track there and there okay that looks like that's the track made it's fast this maglev stuff and here we have the uh, the maglev itself which we i guess they go the, the magnetic strips go on the bottom there given this the this the self-adhesive things are coming off really easily normally because i never have very much in the way of fingernails they take forever Right. Rolling stock made. Eat your heart out, um, white metal kit builders. Now I'll move on to the painting side of it. Which, there we are, look at that. Neatly applied there, no bow pens required. And this is the point where the self adhesive, oh, well, that's it. Self adhesiveness is working. Put the second one on. Get the track back. Now I should. Look at that, it's, it's compensated or sprung or something. Look at that, it is genuinely floating on the track. And there we have it, a maglev built in, according to my timer, four minutes, 23 seconds. Yay. I'll tell you what, the future is fast. Job done. 